Barry Rediger. Thank you, John, for the comments. I would like to, uh, before we get started, recognize the rest of our uh, city council. I think most of them are here. I recognize all of them. Uh, Loretta Snyder, of course, uh, Mayor Pro Tem John Wass, uh, Trent Summers, uh, Mark Lanzotti, I uh, have not, uh, Kathy Swan is here, Meg Crawford is back here. Okay, we're all here. Uh, Council uh, did an outstanding job of uh, vetting our way through this, uh, this approval and development work of the staff and, and making this day possible. This certainly is a great day. It's a day I've been looking forward to for a long time. The sun is really, it's certainly shining at 777 in North Maine. Back on December 1st, 2010, as I and several others sat uh, at the Gaming Commission uh, offices as we were about to either win this approval or our competitors were in Kansas City and, and St. Louis, uh, we got the nod that day and I turned to almost uh, everybody of our, our partners there at that time and I said, this is a game changer for Jay Girardi. This is a game changer for Jay Girardi. Today, the game does change for all of Jay Girardi. There are new and exciting opportunities that exist throughout the city. First, a, a few yes, others have done for thank yous that must come, and that's to Jim Riley and to David Knight for their persistence and vision uh, since the, the this site since 1993. And Virginia and to your team at Isle, uh, thank you for your confidence in our city. To Dick Meister, the VP of Construction and Design, become a close friend and partner, uh, and a very close friend over the last uh, uh, three years, uh, and I'm so excited to have him as a partner here in Cape Girardeau. And to the late Paul Keller, his vision, and Mary is here, and we can just say, uh, thanks Paul, you're looking down on us today as we this time on this day, 10.30 and 10.30. And to our, to our staff, Scott Meyer, City Manager, Kelly Green, our Development Services Director and Assistant City Manager, to Casey Bronke, our City Engineer, all of their staffs also for the seamless support that we were able to bring this job in ahead of schedule. Two months ahead of schedule. 24 months, it's now 22 months. And lastly, to all the uh, contractors and tradesmen who made it possible as they uh, work daily uh, to also bring this in ahead of schedule. There's been much enthusiasm and excitement throughout our community as we approach this day. It began with a 61% vote by our citizens that supported this opportunity for our city. Of course, the Broadway streetscape has been completed, the North Main relocation has been completed, TTF projects have been completed that, that give a venue to this opportunity here at 777 North Main. It is a vast improvement to this formerly stagnant area of our city. It also creates and enhances the probability of future commercial and industrial and residential growth uh, in our surrounding, this surrounding areas. There's plenty of opportunity. People are knocking on their door as we speak. Old Town Cape and all of our great city are now in a newly stimulated growth mode. We greatly anticipate the enhanced revenues to complete the needed, much needed, but unfunded capital improvement projects. Our staff has identified 16 projects to benefit our citizens throughout our city in the first few months ahead. Our council has approved, officially approved, a long-term funding policy for, for the for revenues that fall in four categories. Revenue sharing, the Riverfront Fund, an endowment fund, capital improvement project fund, and an innovation fund. We have every confidence that every aisle will be a great corporate partner and a great addition to our business community. With that, I say congratulations to Jeff Tosh, our general manager, to our next speaker and president, Virginia McDonald. Uh, Virginia, will you 
Kevin, please. Let me be first here as I officially welcome you and I as our newest citizen and corporate partner.